Hey, Minu Nimeni on Luis, Hiatama on the Global Playlist. This week we are visiting the country with more metal bands per capita in the world, many of which have been quite successful abroad, together with some rock bands. And it is the country with more orchestras per capita in the world too. Of course we're talking about Finland, and no doubt that with a population of 5.5 million people it's easier to reach this status. But it also shows how passionate about music Finnish people are since decades and even centuries ago. More mainstream genres like pop and hip-hop are also very popular in this beautiful Nordic country. But nowadays most acts are oriented to local audiences, mainly because they sing in Finnish. But this trend seems to be changing. Come with me to meet our amazing guest Mati and let's discover more about the Finnish music scene. Please uh, welcome Mati from uh, Finland. Hi Mati, thanks for visiting the Global Playlist. How are you feeling? I'm good, thanks for having me. I'm excited. Could you please tell us uh, something about you? Yes, so my name is Matti. I am from Finland, born and raised there. Um, when I was 19, I moved to the US. I went to college there and then from there I moved to Sweden, to Stockholm for a bit and then I moved to LA and now I'm finally back in Finland. I'm relocated here in Helsinki uh, after like five years abroad. And yeah, Sounds I'm nice. a music yeah. geek. I love yeah. music and I work in the industry um, as well. And um, yeah, I love all things music and pop culture. Great, great introduction. Thanks a lot, Mati. Please, could you tell us uh, how did you uh, start uh, listening to music? The first time I kind of got exposed to music was through ballroom dance because I started ballroom dance dance you know like competitive dance when I was very young they have 10 dances five latin dances and five standard dances and I started getting really into the latin ballroom music when I was like already seven eight years old apart from that it was really like you know what I heard on the radio and what kind of sort of like came across across me you know I'm born in 95 1995 and you know when I started hitting my teenage years Luckily, there was internet, so I very like intrinsically started just like looking for for music online. So it, it was like YouTube, and and those kind of things. Could you name uh, some artists that that interest you at the beginning, or that you were listening at that time? I remember that Ricky Martin was oh, yeah. like the shit. <laughs> he, was, he, he was huge at the time, right? Yeah. Yes, and still is. Yeah, and, um, and for dancing, but, he's great. His music, right? Yes, exactly. You know, like samba and cha cha and those kind of dances uh, used his music a lot. So, like a lot of like kind of like, I guess Latin pop in in a way, um, like Living La Vida Loca and those kind of songs. <laughs> yeah. But apart from that, you know, it was really like what I heard in the radio, and then also like we had some CDs at home when I was young. So I remember like Celine Dion. Tony Braxton um, and those kind of artists. And then obviously like some local uh, Finnish pop artists. Okay, and yeah, some names maybe of those Finnish well, artists? <laughs> uh, Finnish people are going to laugh at this when they hear this, but um, <laughs> there's, for example, there's someone called Paola Koivuniemi, who is still to this day like a legendary Finnish pop artist. And then there was a girl group called Gimmel, who was very popular. Uh, there was a rap artist called Pikuge, um, and then an older uh, gentleman called Vesamatti Loiri. So those okay. are some of the, the ones I can remember. Anyone who wants to impress or sort of make jokes with Finnish people when they meet them abroad, they can start singing this one song called uh, Aikuinen Nainen by Paolo Koivoniemi. Everyone, literally everyone in Finland knows that song. It's kind of it's kind of funny as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, put that on your playlist. Traditionally, uh, which would you say are the uh, most popular music genres in, uh, in Finland? For sure, I think what Finland is also known uh, abroad for is heavy music, like heavy metal, yeah, absolutely. rock music. Mm -hmm. But I would say right now, if we look at, you know, the radio lists and the um, Spotify top 50 charts, it's definitely like hip hop rap mm -hmm. in that genre. But I will, I will point out though, that Finland 
is very well known for classical music as well. Yeah. There's a few composers mm -hmm. that are well known and and uh, specifically conductors. It's kind of sort of un, unlikely or almost weird how many internationally successful conduct conductors, like orchestra conductors there are. Actually, what you are saying, it's perfect because it's all connected to my next uh, questions. Great. Could, could you please uh briefly tell us who is uh, or who was uh, Jan Sibelius? Oh man, I'm not a history teacher, but, <laughs> yeah, um, so I know, but <laughs> or what he represents uh, for Finnish people. He was a composer. He has composed some of the, the dearest anthems in sort of the history of the Finnish music. Actually, there's something we call the Sibelius effect. Uh, and what that means is that his legacy has really influenced the fact that there are so many classical music musicians and composers and conductors now in Finland and going, you know, all places international and being very successful. And there's the university in Helsinki called the Sibelius Academy, which is one of the most prestigious music universities in the world. Nowadays, what do you listen to? I would say I listen to a lot of pop music, like, mainstream pop music more specifically i always say that i i prefer dreamy dramatic pop um <laughs> and but then also like i just love listening to classical music i'm not like a classical music sort of nerd but like if i look at my spotify wrapped list it's like classical music as a genre is like second <laughs> up there after okay. pop music You've mentioned that also hip hop is uh, pretty popular in Finland, but I've noticed uh, doing some research uh, while preparing the interview that in Finland, uh, pop and hip hop, they are both genres mainly in Finnish, while exactly. metal and rock, they sing in English and they are usually successful uh, overseas too. Well, why is that? I mean, do you have um, some thought about it? That's a great question. And actually, I have been thinking about this a lot. You know, there are some of some of the most successful rock bands from Finland. They've really made it abroad and mm -hmm. they've become like export products almost. There was like a peak in these rock bands going abroad from Finland in the 90s and they did really well. You know, maybe, you know, some of them like The Nightwish and yep. Him, The Rasmus yep. and Apocalyptica. I've seen many of them uh, live, actually, in, in, oh, really? in Spain and abroad, especially the metal ones like uh, Sonata Artica, Stratovarius. Yeah, so it's interesting that from, you know, comparing to the 90s, now the majority of the chart topping music is in Finnish. Mm -hmm. um, and that change really, or the trend really started happening like in the early 2000s, that a lot of pop and hip hop artists in Finland started changing their language to Finnish uh, in their music, yeah. especially, you know, like rap and, rap and hip hop. I, like, I, I'm not sure if I know any artists in that genre in Finland who sing in English. Right now, are there any um, uh, ones to watch that you would like to highlight, uh, Finnish artists, uh, maybe, that are that are really uh, breaking through, for example? When it comes to pop artists, um, there's someone called Alma. She sings pop, but has like a very cool raspy, edgy voice. Cool. She's done a song with French Montana and those things. Apart from her, there's someone called uh, Isaac Elliott. Well, someone who I'm working with right now <laughs> um, oh, yeah. is a very new band that is gaining a lot of hype. They're called Blind Channel. Blind Channel. Oh, they're man. like I, I've, uh, during my research, uh, I've listened to them. They do this uh, what they call violent pop, right? Violent pop, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I'm working Great. with them right now uh, on Eurovision Song Contest, and okay. you know they're they they have been together for what almost ten years or something. Okay. Um, but now they're really breaking through internationally, and it's awesome to follow and be part of the journey. Regarding uh, live music, it's uh, Finland or Helsinki a good place to see live shows? 
in the summer there are so many music festivals all around Finland and I mean there's so much to choose from and a lot of times the headliners are big international yeah. names okay. uh, but then you have your smaller Finnish acts as well so yes music festival wise Hel- uh, Finland and Helsinki have a really good scene to mention some festivals for example flow festival it's kind of a new festival it's it's kind of like hip millennials love it <laughs> Um, a lot of pop music. And then, for example, Ruiz Rock is a bit more on the rock side, a very big outdoor festival as well. Uh, we're going to continue talking a little bit about the stereotypes. Is Finland uh, such a quiet country, as everybody says? I mean, that's a stereotype, yes. Yep. <laughs> and we like to talk about the fact that we're so quiet and introverted and socially awkward and what I've heard from my international friends they say it's true but I will say though that once you get to know the stereotypical Finnish person I would say it's easy to form like deep relationships and friendships with Finnish people. So I guess you don't talk to your neighbor when you meet him naked at the sauna right? Or... (laughs) (laughs) Well, probably not. But also, I mean, the saunas, because they're everywhere in Finland. Like, yeah. this is fact. There's three, uh, 3.8 million saunas. In <laughs> really? You know? Yeah, so there's like 5 million people, but 3.8 million saunas. <laughs> so crazy. there's a sauna yeah. in like every house. So to be fair with you, like, you know, the sauna is a pretty good place to connect with people and talk with people. So oh, yeah. I would okay. say the sauna is the one place where we're actually social. <laughs> But okay. obviously these are stereotypes and, you know, yeah. there are yeah, yeah, many exceptions. <laughs> of course, of course, I guess. Okay, thanks. Thanks for answering these two. The time has come uh, for Mati to reveal the title of the song. He has picked uh, to represent Finland in the global playlist. Okay, then uh, please, uh, Mati, go ahead. Yes, so the song that I chose is by a band called Hallo Helsinki, uh, and the song is called Hulluden Highway. So I think that I chose this song is that no, it's been a very popular song in Sweden four years ago, and there are very nice words, there is a very nice runnolle, Eka säkeistö ja kersi on tosi sellainen niin melodinen ja siinä on sellaisia rock-elementtejä. Okei, okay, now it's time for the test. Uh, Mati, are you ready? I am, are you? First album you purchased. Oh no, this is very... <laughs> well, I wouldn't say embarrassing, but this is um, interesting. <laughs> um, the Pussycat Dolls album called PCD. <laughs> Favorite album of all time? Oh, this album may not be the one that I've listened to the most, but this is an album that I like value very high. Um, it's Lemonade by Beyonce. Mm-hmm. I feel like that album is a peak in pop culture history, which will not be repeated anytime soon. So yeah, Lemonade by Beyonce. Top three artists of all time? This might change, obviously. But, well, Beyonce, uh, Troy Sivan. The third one would be Duncan Lawrence. Favorite song? <gasps> the Good Side by Troy Sivan. Favorite concert ever? I would still say, hands down, it was Beyonce's Formation World Tour concert in the US. I think it was the first concert of that entire tour uh, it was right after the super bowl performance that she did and it was like 90,000 people on an arena in tampa florida you know 90,000 people worshiping god i mean i was one of them favorite venue anywhere in the world there's a uh, like legendary finnish uh, music venue called tavastia in helsinki and it always has like a very special vibe it's very intimate but it's legendary and everyone wants to play there artist you would love to see performing live can i say several names or just one as many as you want well something that i i must see live asap is bts the k-pop okay. band this is very basic but i feel like i want to see coldplay live 
you know, one of those huge arena concerts. Harry Styles, Laney. Top festival ever. Coachella. Okay. <laughs> Coachella, yeah. It, it's once in a lifetime. I haven't been, but mm. I will. And now it's time for the guilty pleasure. It's uh, the same as the answer to the first question. So the Pussycat Dolls, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it's very guilty, but I can't help it. <laughs> okay, and you still listen to them, right? Don't you? And when I grow up and all these hits, you know, when I go clubbing or anything and they put on those songs, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, so you, I do. You can't stop dancing, right? Okay. <laughs> I can't. I know all the choreography by heart. <laughs> now it's time for the secret question. Finland? Uh, is the number one country in number of metal bands per capita? Yes, I've heard that too, yes. Okay, if you were to form a metal band today and you have, uh, you have the possibility to choose a singer, which one of the following would it be? The almighty Mr. Lordi, the legendary Timo Cotipelto from Stratovarius, the unrivaled Tarja Turunen or the exotic Herra Hevisaurus? Oh. I mean, those are all amazing artists in their own right. But I would personally definitely go for Mr. Lordy. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Okay, great. Great. Do you uh, want me to tell why? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> well, I mean, Lordy, he won Eurovision Song Contest in 2006. It's the only Finnish artist who has ever won Eurovision. The only time Finland has ever won Eurovision. And I'm now working in Eurovision um, and sort of the value that that win still holds for Finnish people is very, very high. Um, and I just love the campness of the whole act you know he's wearing this monster suit it's almost like satire it's like it's so over the top that it's <laughs> yeah, absolutely it's good. but then they also do good music yeah it's it's they do it's, good music yeah. exactly and yes. even to this day actually people don't know what he looks like because he's always wearing a oh, really? monster suit okay so that was all Hope uh, you've enjoyed, Mati, and you too, guys. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have you yeah, here. Thanks for having me. I, I look forward to listening to all the music on the playlist. Okay, so thanks a lot, Mati. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye -bye.